At the end of the 19th century, and as a consequence of the fall of the Ottoman Empire in the Balkans, Slavic nationalism emerged with force, bringing together the Serbian, Bosnian, Croatian, and Slovenian populations. Taking as a model the recent unifications of Italy and Germany, Serbia intends to promote the new nation-state of Yugoslavia, literally translated as South Slavia, which would unite these populations. However, the main enemy of Yugoslavia is the Austro-Hungarian Empire that controls all these territories and, even more, when it invades Bosnia in 1908. This will greatly anger the Slavic nationalists, who will have their chance to act in 1914, when the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne visits the Bosnian capital, Sarajevo. The murder of the heir, Francis Ferdinand, will be committed by a Slavic nationalist of Bosnian origin, but Austro-Hungary will directly accuse Serbia of the attack and will give them a 30-day ultimatum. The Sarajevo assassination unleashed a process by which, in just one week, all the major European powers were at war and where the alliance systems created in previous years are decisive. When the July 28, 1914 fulfills the ultimatum, and Austro-Hungary declares war on Serbia, the European powers are gradually forced to declare war on each other. This cascade of declarations of war establishes the two sides facing each other. And this is the start of the First World War.